Yo, peoples, Kyushu92 here, and welcome back to yet another iteration of Kyushu Views Anime. Onwards to the next episode of One Piece, so let's get it started! In the last episode of One Piece, we saw Odin survive the three-day test of Whitebeard in order to become a part of his crew and, you know, join him out to sea. This is also where Odin meets Toki, and this is also in this flashback where we find out that Momonosuke is born on Whitebeard's ship. So that's a pretty significant thing. But among all the big things to happen, Roger has caught wind of Odin. Crossing Swords, Roger and Whitebeard. Oh, this is going to be good. Now begs the question of how did Orochi weasel his way into the Kozuki house? That's the question. How did he get there? And Yasuie already knows something is wrong with this. I don't care what you say. I don't trust you. Kurozumi Orochi's past. His backstory? So we got a young Orochi running away from these guys. Oh yes, because it's always a good idea to walk inside of a building all the way in the dark. Look at this weird old lady. Her laugh sounds exactly the way it did when I read it the first time. I bet her breath stink with her being that close though. Shimotsuki clan, Kurozumi clan, Uzuki clan, Amatsuki clan, Fugetsu clan. Well, the Kurozumi clan kind of bought it up themselves trying to take power by force. And through nefarious means. Whose fault is it? The Kurozumi clans. That's a weird say to say Kurozumi. It's the Kurozumi's fault that you're in this situation. Not because another person was born. Idiot. Oh! Oh! <laughs> hold on! Hold on! I know that face! Hold on! Power of the clone clone fruit. Ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at a user of the clone clone fruit before Bon Cre! But did y'all notice that face in between switching back to her old face and Orochi's face? That looked like Shiki. That looked like Shiki the Golden Lion. And there he is. Eating the devil fruit that will turn him into the Yamata no Orochi. Now, oddly enough, we don't see, you don't act, I'm, I'll say this, you don't actually, oh, Hakumai. But you don't actually see Orochi turn into his Yamata no Orochi form the first time he eats his fruit. It just cuts to, well, this moment right here. So, they added that in. And we see here... That it's not Odin who took the money from Yasuie, but Orochi. And we see Orochi going around, putting on a sad face, lying to everyone. Putting on such a sad face in front of Odin. And it's showing that Odin is kind of gullible here. Because he doesn't suspect, suspect anything's going wrong here. In the flower capital, Kozuki Sukiyaki. It's a trap! Years later... And there you have it. She was pretending to be Sukiyaki the whole time. And here we are with the Whitebeard Pirates again. And Odin has no idea what's going on. Oh, the early years of Luffy and company. And the early birth of Momonosuke. And if you notice, we saw another baby in Toki's arm, so that's more than likely Hiyori, who's on this island. Rayleigh's here, which means... It's Roger! And Shanks! And Odin's already making his way to try and meet him. And he immediately draws his swords. Yo! <laughs> that smile on Roger's face. He wants to fight him too. Yo, the animation's changing. Look at 
white beard already overhead. Yo, the animation. Yo, the animation. Oh my goodness. Look at this. moment to get animated and they are not disappointing look at that their swords aren't even touching their hockey is that strong <laughs> that's so sick yo Yo, this is gonna be a high quality episode! Look at the animation of the preview! On the next episode of One Piece, Roger's Wish, A New Journey! <laughs> oh my goodness, this episode! <laughs> okay, we have the history of Kurozumi Orochi and how he rose to power. Uh, he met with another member of his clan, and she basically had the clone clone fruit before Bon Clay. And it, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when she was switching her faces from the beautiful woman, then to Orochi, then to a dude, uh, then to another dude, and then to herself, that dude right there in between those faces, that's Shiki the Golden Lion. And we know Shiki was a part of Rox's crew. So, while, while she was out, she must have met uh, Shiki. Because the thing about the clone clone fruit is you have to touch a person in order to replicate their faces. So, she had to be been in contact with Shiki. And then we see Orochi borrowing money from Odin over and over and over again, building up his stock, then having this lady, then having this woman. I, I heard she has a name. It's just that I completely forgot it. But has her posing as Sukiyaki in order to get Orochi to be the temporary uh, proxy for Odin to become Shogun. But with Odin being out and about with Whitebeard, uh, this allowed Orochi to, I guess, keep that seat. But we see that. But the big meat of the matter is when Odin meets Roger. Roger hits him with divine departure and sends this man flying. I am not going to edit that whole section. That whole section where he hits Odin and the whole section where Whitebeard and Roger clash. clash I'm not editing that at all. I'm going to leave that in because that is animation gold. I've been, I've been looking forward to this episode. Hold, Sorry, I got food in my hand because I was eating while I was watching. He probably won't see the majority of me eating because I'm going to cut that out. But I was waiting on this episode, this chapter, to be animated like this, and it did not disappoint. The preview for the next episode, it looks like the entire episode is animated like these high-quality animation short shots. Like the fight between Big Mom and Kaido, or Luffy act activating Ryuo, or pretty much any person doing a big, fantastic, fancy, flashy attack. And it has and it has upped the animation quality. It looks like the whole first, I guess, the first half of to, the next week's episode is going to be just like that. I cannot wait. Roger clashing with Whitebeard, and then you get to see them clashing with hockey. They both can use Conqueror's hockey, so there's a Conqueror's hockey clash. But it is so potent. Their armament hockey is so potent that imbuing their weapons with hockey. They still can't touch each other. Their, their hockey is so dense, they can't actually physically touch one another. And the shockwave from it literally devastates the entire island. I told y'all to buckle up. That's all I got. This episode was fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and get editing on this so I can get this episode out to you guys. But whoo, sweet mama, that was a good episode. That's all I got for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. With that being said, hope you all enjoyed. I got to watch that again. I got to watch that whole sequence again. Hope you all enjoyed. I can't wait to see you all in my next video. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed what you saw here today, Consider subscribing because I am always looking forward to entertaining you. So have a fantastic day. And once again, as always, light a people.